Hey, I know, like, hey, Map, I noticed you asked on uh, 21 Savage that question about, like, the YSL Ricos, like, the YFN Ricos, like, different Ricos going through hip-hop. You think okay. that hip-hop artists are being targeted at this point? Uh, they always been. They always been, bro. Like, keep it real. You know what I mean? Why Why wasn't Tupac or Biggie's murderer found? Like, there's, there's always been something there. You know what I mean? And they just figured out more, you know, clever ways to do it. Now, when I battled on um, Gucci Gotti and Cali, I tried to warn niggas about all this shit because I saw it going down. In New York City, they set it off with, to, you know, Takashi, Casanova, Bobby Smurda, like, all that shit was the Rico shit. I don't even know if people know, but all that shit was part of that 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 whole Rico situation. And there's a clean neighborhood act where they classify gang members as terrorists. So if you out there, especially a lot of niggas on Clubhouse, if you out there gang banging on Clubhouse, <laughs> you letting niggas know that you a gang member or whatever. Hey, the U.S. government now considers you a terrorist. You know how they treat terrorists, my nigga. Guantanamo Bay. All day long. This is what this is. This is where we heading now. So I don't know. I I told this nigga. I, I battled him. I, I broke it all down. I told niggas the shit was coming. Peace. How you doing, sir? All right. Good looking. Yeah. yeah. Salute. Salute. Right. So I I put the warning out there, but you know, unfortunately, you don't see these battles, especially my, uh, uh, you know, that battle. You're not gonna see it unless it's on the app. I was hoping that, you know, that would get dropped on YouTube or whatever. But, you know, I've been talking about this shit for a long time. You go on my YouTube channel, I got a I got a video called um, New York City Drop Your Flag. Like, come on, man. We got to we gotta work smart out here, man. These niggas out here doing stupid shit. There's cameras everywhere, and these niggas acting like the shit don't exist. They don't, like, it's not making sense. Like, the niggas that's, the people that's trying to oppress us, are advancing and we're doing shit still doing dumb ass shit from the 70s it don't make sense right it don't Facts. make sense that's a good point anybody got so, any other questions will you host any battles in in uh on your podcast say it again will you host any battles uh you know on your podcast <laughs> There's always the battle on my podcast. It's called Brooklyn versus Queens. <laughs> shout out to Esso, shout out to Mech. You know what I mean? Shout out to Hide Kid. Um, as far as like people battling in the shop, nah, probably not. I'll probably never do that. You know what I mean? At that barber shop, I, I keep it, I keep it what it's supposed to be. You know, when you walk up in a barber shop, you know, you, you never know what kind of conversations is gonna come out of there, but you always gonna learn something new. There's always gonna be something entertaining. You know, shout out to Premier Barbershop on all uh, Utica Ave. I used to pull up there and there'd be all types of conversations going on in there. Every bar every barbershop I've been to is like that. So, you know what I mean? I, I try to keep it authentic. And um the battling thing, nah, I'll probably never do that. What was what was some of your favorite interviews, bro? Up right here. Is it crazy? It's crazy, bro. Yo, in the left, bro. Read, read body this though. Read body. My fault, my fault, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Play that, play it up from the top. Turn the 